Okay, folks, welcome to Monday 22nd of January 2022. Uh, so we've really had a little bit of a bounce on the reopen of trade on equities um, under pressure, definitely in Europe. So uh, let's get over and have a look at these charts for the week ahead. Uh, looking at the euro, we're on the weekly bars here. You can see uh, really we've had a bounce off the 12 125s uh, down at this level and, and we're, we're putting in higher lows uh, on the consecutive weeks that uh, have come after. Uh, so I'd really be looking at on the top left here, being selling uh, seller on 14 120s, uh, but being mindful that uh, that could get busted um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a stronger dollar once we get up there. And really buying around the S2, uh, 12, 855s, I think support is gonna come in there on a retest. Should we get that this week? Um, but these are the levels I'm going to be definitely looking at and uh, fully aware of uh, through the rest of this week. And really on the lower bound of the range here, this is actually the, if I take my face off the screen, uh, you'll be able to see here um, this level uh, coming into play, the low of the week of the 30th of September 2019 has really been the low of that market. So should we come down and, 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 uh, and test that? Just let me put on my cursor highlighter. Um, should we come down and, and test this region here? I I think there's there's going to be buyers coming in again on that. So, uh, you know, some levels to look out for on the euro. Uh, looking at cable on the weekly chart here. Uh, target on the upside thirty six thirteens. That's pretty much all uh, one and done by now. But I think you know stopping just in front of the level quite indicative that we we may burst this to the upside and so um you know just hang in there we're gonna get you know a little bit of uk data this week um so yeah i mean that look that that high is of the week of the 8th of november 2021 um i think you know should we continue to push here well we have that trend destination which is up here at around you know 3752s right from the this downtrend that we have here right and uh, so some some nice levels to be aware of on the on the downside looking for support on the rewind well we've already traded 35.19s uh traded it out there thursday coming in to support last week and bid on up and um, so a level to be aware of should we pull back and um, but a relatively uh, contained range here uh, for cable um moving across gold on the weekly bar as well it's really uh yeah i mean it's a tight range i think 1782 is on the downside and um, being you know a significant level um you know then 18 is just above uh, where we trade right now and then on the upside i think you, you see really good resistance here from these multiple highs in around 1839s to uh, 1843s and the market's just finding it really hard to hold above that upper bound range there, 1854s. You're just seeing a huge amount of this trade in here. Um, you know, it's kind of, are we coiling up for a further outside break, you know, on rising inflation? Uh, potentially, but I think the inflation uh, trade has kind of been split between uh, crypto and gold, I think, over the last 12 to 18 months, and crypto is on its knees at the moment. Well, Gold is holding up quite well. So, you know, make of it what you will, that story. But I think uh, definitely reasons to stay along in gold for the moment. And, and we're holding quite well above that 1782's lower bound range on the weekly charts. Uh, we're not going to look at the DAX. Well, yeah, we can look at the DAX, actually. So for me, it's looking a bit toppy here. Uh, rejecting on this 16.030s. Um, which is the weekly high 9th of August 21. It looks like we could turn on down uh, here, find some support, 15.532s, you know, and then and then maybe look for, for it to get on uh, up. But, you know, we are following an impulse up from the 50 EMA. Uh, that's a weekly EMA there. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to step in front of equities, but I think a little bit more downside should be priced in on the DAX. Uh, the SPOOs, uh, looking at some key levels for the week ahead on SPOOs. You can see here we're really kind of 
you know, stuck into a bit of an upper range, uh, taking a bid on the daily charts here, taking a bid off the 50 EMA on the lows of uh, the reopen of trade last night. Uh, and I think we can rally back on up to the 20 EMA, 4701s. Um, in terms of weekly perspective, uh, we could kind of change these down to weekly bars. You can see here quite clearly that there is a range in effect. Um, and I think, you know, range top at least 4706s and back to 4735s should be on the cards. Should be on the cards, at least the 4706s. But that's, that's really not that far. Uh, from where we are right now to be honest and um, so you know do be mindful of this range that we're in breakdown on this is going to lead to uh, sort of a 20 ema on the weekly so trade into 4572s um that's what i'd be looking at there and then the dow i mean lovely trade on the dow would be well i'll show you on the on the uh these are daily bars and you can see here that you know we pull back to this trend Right, this trend uh, to the tick on the reopen and overnight and we're he we're heading bid now so i think for for this week targets at least 36 358 notwithstanding headline risk of course um as per usual and then uh yeah sure new all-time high this time next week yeah i reckon i reckon i reckon we could do that um yeah i just i just don't i just think the inflation story and the, the 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 pricing in of the rate hikes, I think I think that's it's fully priced in. I think on the rate hikes right now, and uh, if we we're going to have an almighty sell off, well, I, you know I think we've we've had it. I think we've had it. Um, I don't. Yeah, I think we've had that so far. So yeah, more upside. And while everyone complains that the the stock market is not the economy and the economy is not the stock market, you know, I think yeah, yeah, it would be fitting. Uh, oil as well. Going to have a look at oil here on the daily charts. It's better to look at this on the weeklies, actually. Um, looking at this on the weekly picture, you can see a pullback there on Friday's trade. Just updating this chart to weekly right now. Um, but I think you know target has not changed since last week. Eighty three bucks on the upside. Um, easy peasy, and to test on this trend. I think you know we are actually going to be trading above here because we have had piercing of this this trend here, right? So I think I think yeah, bids on seventy nines could take us to eighty threes. A little bit of capitulation for a few days on eighty threes, or well congestion, and then we should push higher. That's what I'm looking at on uh, on oil and um, levels to be aware of on your kind of smaller time frame. But I think there's just you know a superb amount of support down here. That's sort of like 7711s to 43s. And you can see kind of how that's traded out so far as support in this market. Um, and you can see my targets here up at 83s set and ready. So obviously, you know, notwithstanding headline risk, there is a lot going on. But I think the, the, the riots in Kazakhstan have shut in quite a, an amount of production. Uh, it's not insignificant, about 1.6 mil barrels shut in. Um, so yeah, I think we can stay uh, on the front foot in oil. Uh, the dollar, do be aware that this dollar uh, is set to get uh, a bit stronger in my view. Uh, sorry, that's the Dow. We got the Dixie up here. Oh, strange. USDX, there we go, weekly bars. All right. So yeah, I think I think we can we if we can hold ninety five seventy threes, which we retested on on uh, just the close on Friday, then I think we're gonna we're gonna visit these uh, highs around ninety sevens, just below ninety sevens. If we can't hold ninety five seventy threes, I think the the downside is protected here on the trend uh, coming in around S three today ninety four spot eighty eight, and I think you're gonna find buyers on the dollar down there. Uh, that's gonna be a big old move for the euro though. Um, all right, the bonds have been under a lot of pressure last week, and it hasn't changed this morning. So I think there is further downside in Tinos as well. Just to be aware, you know, the real yield seems to be driving a lot of this downside in equities. And so if we do have a drop in the bonds down to the 12, uh, or sorry, one, 127.9.5, I think you're going to find uh, there won't be that many buyers down there. And we're going to continue to drop um, even further right now. That might be a bit of a shocker 
to some people, but I just that's what I see from a technical perspective on uh, T notes. All right, that is it for my weekly look ahead. Um, these levels are the levels we're going to be looking at, and most of us in the room are going to be looking at through this week. We're going to be trading against them, failures for them to hold, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. And uh, please do click to like and subscribe in YouTube. And uh, yeah, listen, have a great week, and I'll be talking to you uh, as we go along. Cheers.